What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. So a lot of you have been super excited to dive into After Effects and make motion graphics of your own. And I get it, you probably have a super dope project in mind, or maybe you even picked up a client that needs some animated text for a commercial, music video, whatever. <laughs> and you're just like, where do I even start? Or maybe you've already gotten some experience under your belt and you just wanna learn some tips and tricks to speed up your workflow and save you a whole lot of time and headache. Either way, you've come to the right place because today we're gonna be diving into After Effects and I'm gonna show you three absolutely must know techniques when it comes to doing text animation in After Effects. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Today's episode is brought to you by Envato, but more on that special offer later on in the video. So if you're new to the channel, then you probably are like, why is Nate so excited about After Effects? Well, not only is After Effects able to make all sorts of really dope VFX and color corrected shots, but it's also really useful for making all sorts of crazy motion graphics. And that's one of my favorite things to do here. I even got my start doing typography with After Effects and making all sorts of cool lyric videos. So today I'm gonna teach you some cool techniques when you hop into After Effects and start diving into text animation. It's gonna save you a whole lot of time and a whole lot of headache. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just hop right into After Effects. All right. Bam, so as you can see, I am in After Effects. So the first text effect I wanna show you in After Effects is using link text. So let's say you have a project that needs some really snazzy text to be animated on. And right here, I have a really simple animation where if I hit play, you're gonna see how it plays out. Now, traditionally, when you make text in After Effects and you end up having multiple text layers, they're gonna be treated individually and they can say whatever they want. But let's say you have an animation set up like the one I have here and you want to make a change at the very end because a client says, hey, we love how everything looks, but we kind of want the text to look a little different. You know, instead of saying T hashtag XT, we actually wanted to say text. And so all of a sudden you go in, you make the change in After Effects and you realize, dang it, there's all of these other text layers that are supposed to say the same thing. Well, one way that you can make sure that all these layers say the same thing is by making them linked, which you can do using expressions. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So if I go back in the timeline, you're gonna see that this text is actually changed and I can go ahead and actually make just about any changes I want to this. So I can make it say poop and all of a sudden the earlier text layers are just as affected. And I want to show you a little bit how this is working. So if we go ahead and click on this little arrow icon, it's going to drop down our text. You're going to see all of this extra stuff going on. Here, I'm going to delete this really quick. So in order to link text together in After Effects, all we have to do is click and drag on this pick whip tool and then drag it over to whichever text layer we want to be linked and instantly you're gonna see the text change. Now, sometimes you might run into a little bit of hiccups. You can easily solve that by clicking and dragging instead of just on the text layer name on the actual source text. That's just if you have text that tends to match up differently. And just like that, you have your text linked, which is super cool because now you can show your client a really dope animation that's also able to be changed on the fly to where you have all these different variations of text in this composition. So, all right. Let's head to the second text effect, which is this glitch scroll effect. So over here in this composition, really what I'm showing you guys is more of a way to displace text and After Effects. Surprisingly, this one looks like it's got a whole lot going on and maybe you don't always need your text to be legible and instead you need it to be just a little bit more stylish, you know, kind of like some sort of text in the background going on on some sort of screens. And yeah, you have a lot more liberties there in how you want this to look. Well, a really cool way to mess around with text and After Effects is to use something called a displacement map. And the way that this works is really simple. So I'm going to turn off these really quickly and show you just the meat and bones of how this effect is working. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start from scratch on this effect. So I'm going to make a brand new text layer and I'm just going to type in black mixture. I don't know why it's this font right now. So let's go ahead and change it to the black mixture font. Bam. Cool. So that looks pretty good. So now that we have this new text layer, I want to go ahead up to effect and then distort and then click on displacement map. And all of a sudden you're gonna start to see these little edges 
gets shown here. And if I click and drag this, the text is getting more and more displaced. But if you notice this, the displacement map layer is just a text layer. So not too much is going on. Now, the really useful thing about displacement maps is that you can use this with just about any sort of footage. So I have this close up of this ground for effect, which I want to show you guys really quick what this looks like. And here we just have some flames burning. Let's say you took a footage of a fireplace or some fire that you may have seen. You can use that as well. And we're just gonna go ahead, drop that into the composition. And I'm gonna change the displacement map from the black mixture text layer to the ground close up fire composition. All of a sudden we have this really cool distorted text. Yo, this looks super, super sick. And bam, yeah, that was really, really easy. Just like that, huh? <laughs> So again, you guys can use just about any assets when making this. This close-up ground fire effect came from Envato Elements, which is the sponsor of this episode. Can't recommend Envato enough because there's just so many really useful creative assets on that site. We also have a discount code if you guys sign up with us. So you guys check out Envato. They've saved us so much time over here at the channel. I can't think of a better resource for creatives when it comes to making all sorts of super dope stuff. You don't really just buy one asset and you use it. Instead, it's a subscription model to where you get access to thousands and thousands of different assets, whether that's music, templates, After Effects projects, Premiere Pro stuff. Yeah, the list just goes on and on and I can't recommend it enough. Also, they're the sponsor of this episode and I wouldn't recommend them if I didn't think that they were really dope. All right, let's get back to the video. Now, if you want to mess around more with this effect, you can go ahead and click on Wrap Pixel around that's gonna just keep that layer going we can even mess around with the maximum vertical displacement so it keeps on duplicating this footage and all of a sudden we get this really nice retro distorted text effect so yeah hope you guys have fun with that now on to the last text effect which is this character random generator now let's say you have a movie scene in which the characters are sitting at their screen and they're waiting for something to get decoded. And there's a little bit of suspense that you wanna play into this animation. So the director tells you, hey, I want the text to go through a random sequence and then slowly reveal on the letters. So the traditional method to do this would be to painstakingly go through frame by frame to actually make an individual layer for every different sequence of these letters. Or we can also use the magic of expressions and the range finder and After Effects to make this a whole lot easier, which I'm gonna show you how to do right away. Take a look at this effect. We have this random set of letters and bam, the black mixture gets animated on. I can even go ahead to these keyframes and if I drag this out, I will also get just a little bit of a longer animation. So not only do we have this effect instantly generated, we're also able to adjust the keyframes and make it however long we want to, which sounds pretty cool because, hey, we're not having to make a bunch of different layers. So I'm gonna show you how this one works as well. Let's just start from scratch on this, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in a new text layer. I'm also gonna call this black mixture again. Now, if you notice that this text is showing up with capital letters and also lowercase letters, a little trick, click on this little icon here, which is the all caps icon. And this makes the letters pretty much just all capitalized. Now, the next thing I'm going to do to this layer is click on this little icon down here to drag out the text effects. And I want to actually go to animate and then character offset. The character offset animator pretty much just gives us random letters and it offsets those characters by a factor that we give it down here in the slider. So if I slide this, you're gonna see these letters change all over the place. To do this effect, all I wanna do is actually start from zero. I'm gonna click on this icon right here, which is gonna create a new keyframe. Then I'm gonna drag this timeline a little bit out and I'm just gonna drag this number from zero all the way up to something like, let's say 300. But super, super high. Ooh, that looks almost like a word there. So if I scrub through the timeline, we actually get the text and then it starts to get messed up. I'm just gonna reverse these keyframes order so that we have it start off random and then get revealed at the end. That looks pretty cool. But what you're gonna notice is different from this version and the other one that I showed you earlier is that this one, all the letters change and then it just snaps onto the final one. Whereas the one earlier, one by one, each letter slowly gets revealed. And to do that, we can use 
the range selector in After Effects. So let's go to this layer and click on this range selector icon. And by default, it's gonna say start at 0% and at 100%. Let's go ahead and set a little keyframe there so it saves it. And I want the start to be at zero. So let's go ahead and add a keyframe for that as well. Now let's go ahead and drag all the way down to the timeline when the final text is revealed. And I want now the start to set to 100%. Okay, so now let's go ahead, drag back in the timeline and you're gonna see slowly each letter gets revealed just like that, bam. Now, if you wanna add a little bit more suspense, you can go right before the last letter is revealed and set a keyframe for that moment. And then let's go ahead and drag out these last two keyframes a little bit further in the timeline and then duplicate that keyframe that we just dragged out and paste it by using Control C, Control V on our keyboard, just so we have a little gap in between to where the start is maybe at 95% for a little bit longer before that last letter gets revealed. Let's see that, that is really nice just like that. So bam, just like that, we're able to use the range selector to control this text animation and make all sorts of cool customized yet random effects. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed those three text effects and after effects. There's a whole bunch more that you can learn, but I think that those three are really great for getting down the basics of understanding expressions, using the range selectors and layer options built in within after effects, and then also having a little bit of fun by also using effects and displacement maps. Again though, there's a whole bunch more things that you guys can do and I'm sure that once you get to experimenting in After Effects, you're gonna come up with all sorts of really cool techniques of your own. So today's episode is brought to you by Envato and they also have a super dope Black Friday sale for a bunch of really useful creative assets, whether that is After Effects, WordPress, Premiere, the whole pretty much Adobe suite. But by far one asset that I hands down recommend to you guys is the RTFX generator. It's one that I've seen time and time again use in so many works like you'll find it in all sorts of music videos commercials by far one of my favorite assets and guess what it's going to be on sale for 50 percent so we're going to be leaving a link down in that description and i'm pretty sure that after black friday this entire segment of this video is going to get deleted so this is a limited time thing if you guys are watching this anyways thanks again to envato for sponsoring you guys got so many super dope assets and i highly recommend you guys check out envato because they've saved us so much time over here at the channel i can't think of a better resource for creatives when it comes to making all sorts of super dope stuff all right let's get back to the video yeah maybe check that out i hope you guys watching this had a really dope thanksgiving and are maybe considering subscribing and smashing that like button for more free videos you know that shows that you guys are pretty thankful that was such a cheesy plug i don't know if i'm gonna put that in there we appreciate it every time you guys smash that like button and while you're at it why not subscribe and ding that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned because we got a whole bunch more anyways if you guys want to check out more of us check us out on instagram for more behind the scenes hope you guys have a happy holidays links down below as always thanks for watching and i hope to catch you on the next one peace